Hey guys, it is Sunday, January 16th, and this is another In My Mailbox vlog. I got four books this week, three of which are for review, and one of which I bought for myself, because I just couldn't resist. So, first of all, I bought Across the Universe by Beth Rivas, and this just barely came out on the 11th. It's about a futuristic society where they put themselves into cryostasis for 300 years to go into the future, um, and find this new planet that they can live on. Um, but Amy, the main character, wakes up 50 years early, um, out of her cryostasis because someone tried to kill her. Um, it's supposedly just really futuristic, um, kind of dystopian in a way, and then, um, a hint of romance. You can't go wrong with that, right? So, plus you can't resist this beautiful cover, and it's so much shinier in person. So, I'll be reading Across the Universe hopefully really soon. Then, for review from the author, I received No Going Back, and this is by Jonathan Langford, and it's about an LDS teen who, for those of you who don't know, LDS is Mormon. It's about a Mormon teen in Oregon who is actually gay, um, which I, I lived in Utah for over four years, and it's not really accepted. It's not really accepted in a lot of religions. But it's it's a novel about tolerance and friendship and trust. And um, I really thought it would be an interesting way to step out of my comfort zone in contempts. So, Jonathan Langford, thank you so much for sending this to me. I'll be reviewing it in the next two weeks. Um, then I received from the author, received Shrouded Secrets. And this is by Joel McGrath. And it's about um, two teenagers, David and his older sister, Danielle. Um, they realize they have these insane metaphysical powers and she's popularity. He's not popularity, you know, and I said popularity and I meant it. Um, she embodies that. It's not in her genes, but he learns that there's something else in her genes. That sounded really bad. It's genetic, let's put it that way. So, anything with powers really intrigues me, and I'm excited to read this. So, thank you very much, Joel McGrath. And, side note, I got this from him, and he lives in New Hampshire as well, so that's fun. And then, received from the publisher, I received The Darlings Are Forever, and this is by Hyperion, or from Hyperion. Um, it's by Melissa Cantor. Um, it's kind of like a sweet story, a little bit like the sisterhood of the traveling parents, a younger version of Sex and the City, you know, you've got the drama queen, you've got the romantic girl, you've got the huge nerd who's somehow a member of this group, and it's chronicling how they live with one another, live, interact with one another, and I told you guys I'm trying to read more contempts, and I really am, so I'm excited to read The Darlings of Forever by Melissa Kent, so... That's all I received this week, um, but I think it's a good haul, and I'm excited to read them all, so leave me a link to your mailboxes, and I'll be sure to check them out. Thanks, guys.